Hi, I would try to find out who are the people that had such adoration for their town, country and queen. Royal Tartaria, with her ginnies, carried the Kemet technology and were geologists, cosmologists, using the keystone supports with breathtaking geometry. With our brothers, sisters and moms of earth, we're living here <clears throat> in creation where religion, the act of worship, languages, heraldry, totems, customs all come from one source, our culture. With an Arabic language here, were these people called Ottomans during the wars? Did a forced assimilation with a ban on Arabic take place? This is why I believe not just the Kulin nation, but everyone all over the world was moving together towards feelings of empathy after the cataclysmic events. Theatres being built in the towns of the Kulin nation, your country town, your family home forever. The natural actions of goodwill was to build a solid, safe, clean, dry, healthy nation. Alas, Tartaria would end as they became a column of science fiction comics. The victory over Toria by capitalism heralded in an Anglo-Aryan racist time that was responsible for the last judgment on unborn white people. This time of propaganda with God's portrait as a human being with Jesus and angels, is this science or black magic? The dawn of time and money, again the bureaucracy, is this bow sorcery, white sorcery spells for white women? Those responsible for stealing light-skinned children and poisoning dark-skinned people has increased over time. These envious sheep, they believe in privilege so much they took all of Tartaria right down to the roots of the family trees. Victoria, we must break this spell. If we want to break this spell, let's say a prayer. Glory to the word glory to the sound. That's good and important, like the pagan inscriptions over doorways where a correct sound to spell open sesame allows passage. The Quran is to be spoken correctly, with mastery of sounds used to describe what is needed to love God. The Wall and Gundam mob have a deity called Wanjina, the rain creator. Ijar is the Ijar, father of the Wanjinas, lives in the Milky Way. Wanjina created the Gwyn Gwyn of first humans. Ija, with creative googling, can be Idha, and Idha, from what I found, means to make pronounce better in Arabic for reading the Quran. Bayami is also a father sky god, who also brought the laws and created the country, and with Google Translate I found the word blame. So I've got the, how to say the Quran correctly and blame. Ijar, the father of sky gods, the father of God, say Allah. So sky gods, rain deities, created the first humans. The first humans here are proto-Saharans. Bayami blame and Ijar, Allah. So blame Allah, Australian Aboriginals aren't first. It's the proto-Saharans who are the first humans. Hmm, pretty suspect story of mine. But this has all the indicators of a big trip, big trick being played on the Australian Ab Aboriginal people. Is this black-brown racism? Is rock art painted by racists, then marketed by white women who control the narrative, keeping Aboriginal gods in the Stone Age while profiteering on that culture? And art spelt backwards is tra, tatra. These sketches by William Barrack are sending me messages with colour temperature codes that use the whole spectrum, colour spectrum of Calvin. Every sketch has patterns found on all the pottery and artefacts that anthropologists collect. The checkered patterns, chevrons, dots, swirls and waves are amazing. What of this kangaroo under the Seph or Anki? Is the kangaroo called Steph or Seph and the emu Joey? And what of the serpents rising from the foreheads of the women and the emu? Very early maps of Melbourne had a Stephen Street that's now known as Exhibition Street. Are these paintings treasure maps to Williamstown barracks or are they for their batteries that had electricity in them that fired cannons of hot steam to signal prayer time? The god crow Wa is a clever trickster, and Wa has many riddles. Wa's name appears here in writing, then in the next sketch it's Ward. 
Look at the spelling here of Melbourne. S-S-I-L Bourne. I read Bourne is boundary. So this is Wa's boundary or Wabon. Bunjil the Eagle God, where you take the side of an eagle for a bird's eye view. Well, there was an aeroplane here, as we see from these awkward portraits of the 19th century white man for a 1936 centenary. Or this flying object. Hmm, bizarre. It all feels very chemistry to me. Now, John Batman isn't a white man, we're taught. Isn't, he's a Berber, Abyssinian, Moroccan. Bat is his heraldry, and being a barber, he registered black and brown people on the Barbary Treaty of 1786, but it finished in 1816. The Emperor of Morocco's influence on human rights for human beings would fade away, and this was to be replaced with racial profiling. The Argus building and name would become a well-known newspaper that has since closed down. But what's the true interest here for them, especially given the paper opened in 1847, making this picture pre-1847? And what is on this flag, this heraldry? Is it a bat or a platypus? Red, green, blue is daylight, or 6,000 to 5,500 Kelvin colour temperature. And red, green, yellow is nighttime daylight, or 2,500 Kelvin. It's not about swapping yellow for blue, it's about absorbing the colour temperature called Kelvin. At night, two thirds of daylight, red, green, blue, is absorbed by the corresponding red, green, blue. With the one third of daylight, or 2,500 Kelvin of light of colour temperature remaining. When we look around at night, with the moon and stars as sources of daylight, things appear faint, so more imagination is needed than day. It can be shown here on these shields with the heraldry. The Greeks call Ethiopians red faces. Why, I don't know. But they eat Berber and it's red. Berber is red, Alicia is yellow, Derek is black, Habasha is brown, and Netch is white. Got a lot of colours in the Kelvin colour temperature there. Australia was left red all over from the biblical flood, and this painted the towns in red mud. The name Ethiopia. Is it a code for the watcher's surveillance in the Book of Enoch for the Greeks? Abyssinia, with its two SS and I in the middle, is like the Melbourne map, which has SSI for a boundary. What are these symbols? Does pronunciation do the trick? This flag of Abyssinia, the royal purple, earthy red, purity white, it didn't last long. These colours that can be seen as divisive in Western civilization because it's in reference to marijuana, but that has nothing to do with Amharic culture. Emperor Haile Selassie's coup destroyed the Tata civilization, thus ending the old world. The names on the plaques here on the bridge, Princess Bridge in Melbourne is James Cooper Stewart, 1888, with his wife Amelia Henderson Stewart. Then why do we get this image of Colonel Sanders? James of Aragon, the Catholic, goes on crusades as a mercenary for the Khans, as Catholicism incorporates all. These images are of the House of James in Scotland. Was the House of James the same tanistry as the Stuarts? I stumbled onto this from the 10th century in Scotland. It's the royal family. From 967 to 971, Dub Mac Mail Colium, or the Black, was king. He was killed or run out of Scotland. Cullian Mac Iliub is king, but it seems another member of the family was playing big king at the same time. This ended with Mac Mail Colium's Kenneth II, son of Dub the Black. Next is King Constantine III, son of Cullian Mac Iliab. He wanted tanistry inheritance for the bloodline. He lasted two years. Synod Mac Durab alias and Don the Brown, or Kenneth III, was king from 995 to 105. With the family now name now being Mac Sinada, Mac Sinada, and royal inheritance by tanistry, a black and tan battle for dominance was beginning. The old written English language or history written in English over the centuries is not a spoken one. It's there to learn history 
and take that as script or be outcast. The science horrors played out by the scribes of time gives us the privileged white history. We have to program racism before any fascism, capitalism, narcissism can grow. Is the West toxic nationalism creating malignant narcissistic countries? The three pillars of Western civilization are lies, the fourth for state propaganda. The family tree history of white people is all trick photography, then layers and layers of lies, perhaps 800 years, the time between the Gregorian or Georgian calendar to the Berber calendar, a lot of time to fill in with white washed agenda. Thanks and ta-ta, and ta-ta to the subscribers. Bye.